Well, adventure to Jaman Zero here, your favorite hero. Guys, a ton of information just dropped last night, and I did not see it until this morning. Today is the 21st. Let's hop in and take a look at the stuff in the notifications, as well as see if there's anything going on on X that gives us a little bit more insight about what's coming in the days ahead. Let's hop in and check it out. All right, let's spend no time here and go straight to the notices. Guys, pretty pumped. This is a lot of good information. There's a lot of good things happening right now. Guys, we're going to be getting a brand new Golden Bomb Rush event. So I don't know if you guys uh, experienced this one last time. Really good event. Amazing use of pots. Definitely utilize them to get all your characters up as much as possible. This is an experience event. So you want to go here and you want to get all your characters up to level 70 and beyond. And the reason why they're running this event is because we are going to be getting our level cap increase. So instead of just a five level increase like we've been seeing, we're getting a 10. And this makes sense because we missed our kind of like a window of the five increase when we got our weapon increase. So here we go. Now we're able to get to level 80. Fantastic. With the Bomb Rush event, super happy that they're going to be bringing the Bomb Rush event back in order for us to be able to hit level 80 with all of our characters, which of course is going to make a lot of our content just a little bit easier. Now with level 80, Leviathan is just going to be a little bit easier for all of us. The same with uh, the Ifrit and Bahamut battle. If you guys were struggling with that one, now with level 80 characters, it's going to be quite a bit easier because you're going to be kind of past a threshold where you can actually survive some of those main large hits. Next up, we have a brand new event that is coming down the pipeline, the new Battle Tower Col Coliseum of the Chosen. Super cool. Looks like this is going to be a brand new... A tower based battle system. I'm not sure if this is going to be very similar to what we just had with those two different fights and where we can just grind it out, but it actually looks more like it's going to be like a tower based uh, fight. So kind of like how we have the, uh, the Cetra towers, right? So looking forward to this, let's hop onto X and see if any information is there for this event. All right, guys, so here we are on X, and I'm actually not seeing anything particular too specific that an uh, in-game notice. So it looks like they haven't made any official announcements on their X page. We do have a confirmation here that there will be a live stream for the event, or rather for the game, and that's huge. I don't know if you, uh, you guys realize, but uh, I think this is one of the first live streams that we've been getting for Ever Crisis in a very long time. This bodes very well. Uh, it means that maybe we're going to be getting something really big. Maybe they're going to be start talking to us about the guild based system, which we've been waiting so viscerally for. And you know, in this video, or we're going to be seeing it on, in Japan on the 28th. So I will be making sure that I do a stream for this one. Or at least a recording going over all the content. Uh, I don't speak Japanese, but maybe I'll be able to make sense of it with some subtitles. And yeah, that looks like it for the notices in X. So let's head back to the game here really quickly and see what else we might be getting going on. So as you know, the for the storyline is has been released. Make sure you guys are going through that. The Sephiroth banner is going really well. Um, I did a single pull on that uh, just so I could get a copy of the weapon. I just wanted the skin. The thing looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not going hard on this banner just because I am a really, really low on my crystals, guys. I went deep on Yuffie's banner, right? So I'll show you that really quickly here on my feature two. I went to the second page because I wanted Yuffie as my earth-based damage dealer because well the weapon is very good the outfit is very good it's an earth-based arcanium uh, I do suggest getting that if you don't have an earth-based arcanium fighter uh, Yuffie I have at the highest level that she could possibly be and I have some pretty decent gear for her so it seemed like a no-brainer for me so I went with for that and now I'm going to be holding and holding those crystals as much as I can until the next big event and it looks like it might be a crossover and that's it for this one guys hopefully you enjoy the video and hopefully you're looking forward to that live stream i know i sure am as well as hopefully we are going to be getting some big things and that uh, battle tower seems very interesting and hopefully you guys are excited for it and that's it i'll catch you guys on the next one do like sub and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later have a good one adventures be well